Today, I just want to take a typical calculus 1 question and I'll show you how we can actually just use algebra to solve it. Let's have a look. We are going to find the maximum value of y is equal to x over parentheses x plus 1 squared. But before we do the algebra, I will have to tell you. This function is just about right, so we can still just use the algebra to do it. Because otherwise, please still use calculus. But anyway though, how can we approach this though? Well, this right here is just like a rational equation. And in the algebra world, we don't like to see fractions well, in all the world. So maybe let's multiply this to both sides. So we get x plus 1 squared times y equals x. So now if you look at this, we can treat this as a quadratic equation in terms of x. And here is the deal. We do have the y right here. We will have to select the y value carefully so that this equation has a solution. Of course, we're talking about real solutions. So how can we make that happen though? Why don't we just do the typical algebra thing? Multiply this out, we get x squared plus 2x plus 1 and then times y and that's equal to x. Distribute the y. x squared y plus 2xy plus y is equal to x. Bring the x to the other side, so I will minus x here and then minus x here. So this is x squared y plus, they both have x, so let's factor that out. So we will have 2y left, minus 1, and put the x on the outside, and then plus y, and that's equal to 0. And in fact, this is a quadratic equation in terms of x. Perhaps, let me put the y in the front, and then x squared. Now, how does this look like? Of course, we have our typical a, b, and c in terms of y. And remember what we wanted to do earlier. We want you to find the biggest y value so that this equation has a real solution. What can we do? Aha, yes, you are right. We just have to make sure that the discriminant, namely, let me just write this down. We need b squared minus 4ac to be greater than or equal to 0. So we can come up with an inequality in terms of y, and that will tell us the maximum. Hopefully. Now, b squared is this guy squared, so let's just work that out. We have 2y minus 1 squared. Now my dog. Minus 4. a is y. c is also y. So let's multiply y and y. We still want this to happen. And then just work this out. Multiply the out, we get 4y squared minus 4y plus 1. And this right here is minus 4y squared. This and that cancel. We have negative 4y plus 1 is greater than we equal to 0. Move this to the other side. Negative 4y is greater than we equal to negative 1. And then divide both sides by negative 4. So we get y is, well, remember, when we divide both sides by a negative number, we flip the inequality. And the negative 1 divided by negative 4 is 1 over 4. Therefore, in order to have a solution to this equation, y better be less than or equal to 1 over 4. In fact, this also tells you the range of the original function. In another word, we can see that the maximum value for y is 1 over 4. So the answer is max is at y is equal to 1 over 4. And if you care to find out where that's going to be, just solve the equation, or you can just look at it. 1 over 1 plus 1 squared is 1 over 4. I will just tell you add x equals 1. So yeah, that's it.